wanting to change these photos for a very long time and I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you guys how easy it is to make your own photos using large prints. There are so many ways to make a picture frame and this is just one that I like to use. Not only am I gonna be making my own picture canvas, I am gonna be making a wooden frame to go around it. This is a very affordable homemade picture frame project that won't break the bank. <laughs> I went to Home Depot and purchased all the supplies I need. I found these foam boards, a pack of six, only for $1.50 each. And then I picked up five of these boards and these were about $1.14 each. These nails were a little over $2. I also have black paint and adhesive glue. I had this laying around in the house, but these usually go for like three to five dollars. The most money I'm gonna spend is gonna be on the photos. These photos are gonna be 16 by 24, and they're gonna be $14. They're gonna be poster prints. So they're gonna be big photos for only a $14, that's pretty cheap. If you wanna go cheaper with your photos, you wanna get engineering prints. Now let me show you what I'm talking about. Engineering prints are those big blueprints that you see on construction sites. I printed out this hem. It is 48 by 24, it's huge. I paid like $8 for this giant piece. It is not the same quality as a photo paper. It's just like printer paper. It's not as nice, but it is a good option. I am ready to change out these family photos. We only have three kids here. We are missing baby four and five. We are gonna bring the kids downstairs and we're gonna take their photos. I'm not sure how it's gonna go because you know family photos, they can get kind of crazy, but I'm gonna grab Mike, grab the kids, and we'll get started. All right, before we go get all the kids, we need to set this area up and we're gonna be doing one kid at a time because it is just way too crazy. It's a circus down here. Five kids are just standing here waiting to get their photo. So we need to move two things out of here. One is this because we want a white plain wall. And number two, we wanna move this plant, which is $22 at Costco, by the way. And I believe Savannah said it was like $100 at Home Depot. Yes, so. they go for 100 Yes. Okay. We have about four of these in our house. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see back there, we got a couple. We have some upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing we wanna do is take control of light. And let me show you a little hack, a little photography hack. If you have a window that produces light for you, use it because the light that God gave us is an amazing source of light. If you saw our photo of Noah when he was first born, all we did was get him close to a window and have that natural sunlight come in and it turned out to be an amazing photo. All right, so I wanna show you guys this little hack. So we have very sharp light coming in on Jaira's face and it's just not very pleasing. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna come over to your blinds and you wanna turn it until those sharp beams of light come out of her face. And just like that, we turned a very blinding image into a very nice one. And she already makes the blinding image look good, but I'm just saying this looks a lot better. And that's just another little hack for you guys. If you're wondering why Jaira has socks in her hair, we are trying out the no heat curls using socks. If you guys wanna check out that video, we're gonna add a link below and you can follow that and see how we did this method. We did it with my other daughter who has straighter hair. So we're gonna take it out and get her ready for the photo. Good, it is ready. It is nice and curly and it got it got really short. Um, all right, we're gonna take your picture now, all right? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. All right. Okay. That's great. Mike, you going to No, not like that. <laughs> nope, shoulders back. Smile, you You here. You didn't put it straight. <laughs> All right, that's it. We have all the pictures taken. The kids did a great job. Now all we need to do is edit these photos and hopefully we got a few photos that'll work and then we'll upload them and get them printed out. 
All right, now to the fun part. We have loaded the images in and we're gonna just see how the photos turned out. Savannah's very anxious to get over to the photo of the place. The fun part is printing them out and see what they look like. So we're basically just gonna skim through the photos right now, find our favorite one, because we're only gonna get one yeah. of each child. Now we need to figure out the color. Yes. Definitely black and white. And yeah, just so figure out the I... shading and everything. All right, you guys, well, that is it. All the photos are edited, and now Savannah gets to go do the fun stuff, and she's gonna go get these printed out. Yep. At where? Um, Staples. Staples. Yeah, I'm gonna get poster prints, so we'll see how it looks. Yeah. <laughs> just got the photos. One hour photo is amazing. I went ahead and cut my foam to fit the photo because that is the most important thing is the foam piece. I cut the foam with a razor blade. Fun, a little fun fact. Um, if you want to say razor blade with an Australian accent, you just say rise up lights and you say it fast. So you say, Rise up lights. <laughs> it's hilarious. I think I laugh every time I try that. Anyways, I pre-cut all my wood for my frame and I have the wood on the outside longer and the wood on the inside will be shorter because I want a nice finish on the edge. So it will basically look like this. It fits perfect to the foam like this. I have four more of these to cut out and make. I'm getting pretty excited about this. It's starting to look really good. So we're gonna get started on that and start cutting. turned out they look really good you know they only cost about $17 for the photo and everything the wood so each one that's pretty cheap for the quality you get and I really like how each one turned out each one of their personalities truly show and their little smiles are so cute I really like them it just looks amazing um, let me know what you guys think in the comments how you think they turned out if I you, what would you do differently? Obviously, there are different ways you could, you know, make these pictures. What are you doing, Micah? Do you like them? You can't touch them, okay? Is that one you? We are all pebble. Oh, we took them down. We're not going to use the other pictures. We are them. Where are your puddles? <laughs> we put them away. We're not going to use them anymore. Look at the picture behind you. That's you. <laughs> All right, Micah, what do you think? How do you think they turned out? Do you like it? Yeah! Do you like your picture? All right, Micah, I think Daddy says you say something at the end. What do you say? What do you say at the end? What do you say? Daddy, Daddy says you say- Oh, Daddy, 